Welcome everybody, welcome to Grand Tactician The Civil War. This is a tutorial about telegraph stations and order delays. We will briefly go over how to construct a telegraph station, what they do, and how other ways you can reduce order delays in the game. Telegraph stations serve one main function, and that is to reduce order delays from the War Department in your capital city to your armies out in the field. You can tell if your army is in, you can tell if your army is connected to the War Department by looking at your situation icon in the army info box. And you can see a little telegraph line here in the green that says unit is connected to the War Department. If you want to trace back your telegraph lines, um, from telegraph station to telegraph station by looking at the map information settings the gear the gear box here or the gear circle click that icon and then click on the telegraph line icon and you will it will pop up and show you the lines tracing through the telegraph stations that are connected so looking at the army of the west here we can trace back the blue line through Jefferson City. If you click on that telegraph station also, you get the radius of that telegraph station. You can see that it goes through St. Louis. Now they have to be within range. So if we so starting back in Washington DC. So starting back in Washington DC, Baltimore, we can trace the line back from Washington DC to Baltimore through and then even the telegraph station in Cumberland. As long as they're within that radius, they will trace a line through those telegraph stations to the armies and forts within those radiuses, so on and so forth. And, and so it connects all the way through. For some reason, it goes down through Louisville and not through Indianapolis. That's fine. It connects all the way through to Vandalia and, or Vandalia and Decatur through St. Louis and Jefferson City and then out to the army of the west and as your armies move into enemy territory as long as they're still within range of that telegraph station they will still be connected to the war department now one thing to remember that's very important is that you cannot build a telegraph station if it is not within range of another telegraph station so as you're marching Along, make sure if you do want to be building telegraph stations along the way that you're still within range of the last telegraph station. Let's take a look at some of the examples of using the telegraph station and how it impacts your order delay. There's a couple things to consider though too. We're going to use the 16th Corps in the spring of 1863 campaign. Stationed at Corinth, Mississippi, he is attached to the Army of Tennessee under Grant. This is important because order delay is also a hugely impacted by is hugely impacted by Army command. So Washburn takes his orders from Grant, and Grant is located at or near Vicksburg, but he is out of contact of the telegraph system. So currently, and so is Washburn himself. He is not currently within the telegraph system, even though there's a telegraph station here at Corinth. It is not it is just outside of the telegraph infrastructure, the closest one being at Nashville. So if we actually transfer Washburn's 16th Corps to the Army of the Cumberland, that will greatly reduce order delay already. So why don't we take a look at if we issue orders for... Washburn to Tuscumbia, there is a 60 hour and 50 minute delay of orders coming from Grant's headquarters of the Army of Tennessee near Vicksburg. So why don't we transfer him to the Army of Tennessee? I'm sorry, let's transfer him to the Army of the Cumberland. So Washburn now is attached to the Army of the Cumberland and will get orders from Rosecrans headquarters. Now let's issue orders to Tuscumbia. So let's reduce it by at least 10 hours or so. So now the order delay is at 49.58. So that alone shaved off 10 hours. He's still out of the telegraph network though. Even his halting orders 
have been reduced as well. So we're going to order Washburn's 16th Corps to build a telegraph station that is now within the range of the telegraph at Nashville. So you can see, you can see the lines popping up now, indicating that it will be within the network. And constructing the telegraph, just like depots and forts, it will be dark red. If you cannot, if the land around it is not flat enough or there's other buildings in the way. And it has to be within the army command radius. So we can build one right here, right on the railroad tracks. They take about five days to build. They're very quickly, they can be built quickly. So you can see that the telegraph at Nashville puts it within range of the telegraph network. And, act and actually, it... It puts um, Washburn in telegraph within the telegraph infrastructure already. It's not even completed. So that puts Washburn in the telegraph network and they're still working on the telegraph station. So it's not 100% complete. The marching orders now down to 35 hours and 51 minutes. So he is now within that telegraph network. Let's see what happens when the telegraph station is fully built. Telegraph station at Ayuka is now complete. Let's see if that makes um, even more of an impact on order delay. Uh, slightly, we're at 3151. So, but that's still by half. So, taking orders from Grant and Vicksburg out of the telegraph network took about 60 hours. Now, receiving orders from Rosecrans at Nashville, Tennessee is taking within the network takes about 31 hours out of the network it was uh, over 40 hours so there is a significant reduction in order delay there if we move rosecrans headquarters towards 16th corps they should receive a even more of a benefit yeah so rosecrans about halfway now to washburn's core and the order delay is down to 1639 so just remember, telegraph stations will reduce order delay significantly, but telegraphs alone will not reduce that. You have to be mindful of the your telegraph network. Also, the command army command structure is hugely impactful. So all those combinations of things and readiness will also greatly impact army order delays. So we have assigned new brigades to Washburn's command to get his... That will reduce readiness as they wait for those brigades to form and arrive at their command. So we've reduced readiness to yellow. Order delay is at 15 hours. So actually, because I believe Rosecrans command is impacting the 16th Corps even more. Let's see as these brigades form up if there's any change in order delay. So with yellow readiness... We've moved Washburn up slightly. It's a 12-hour order delay to Tuscumbia. Let's see if it gets even better as his brigades form up and his readiness goes into the green. So even with a slight increase in readiness, order delay is down to six hours. We haven't changed a thing other than some of Washburn's brigade have formed up and are now completed. Let's see Sturgis, Rowley, Morrell... There's three other brigades that are incomplete or incomplete. All right, so Washburn is now in green readiness. All his brigades are formed. New orders are sent. It's now order delays down to three hours and 45 minutes. So you can see the impact of several different factors, including telegraph stations, how that can impact order delays greatly.